Hey guys, Rajiv here from Financial Hub India. So in today's session, we'll be seeing how the key level zones works out. So as a key level zones, it can be a support zone or it can be a resistance zone. So right now, I'm showing you a Nifty daily time frame chart. Now this Nifty chart we have been tracking for last couple of weeks. We have drawn here these lines we have been drawing for last couple of weeks again while tracking the nifty momentums so while trading the nifty i've just found out something and uh, i thought like sharing with you guys which is really important and i hope that it will help you in your trading see the key levels are really very much important part of the price action tradings right so without the key level you can't really trade the price action things while drawing the key level most of the people they are like um, mark the turning points which are this 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 and this right so you see the points here a uh, turning point from here to here so you mark this as a resistance then here as a support then the price goes up overall here then again a resistance and here then it's a, a, as a support right so most of the time you will be seeing that people are really pinpointing the resistance level and the support level so this is a resistance level as a straight line most of the people draw and this as a support level most of the people draw if you see here i have drawn two lines here and I'll show you the analysis video in the description box where I, I was uh, analyzing Nifty and while drawing these lines here so that you can just go through it and you can see that how I'm drawing those lines over there. But here in terms of this lesson, I wanted to show you that why I marked this two lines here and why I said that this is a resistance zone and how this resistance zone really play out and what is the importance of this zone, drawing this zone over here. So if you see Nifty has gone above the topmost resistance level over here right and then price was coming back for a pullback over here so if you are just seeing this resistance line and let's say you don't have this line just forget about this you didn't draw this line you have just drawn this resistance line one single line and you are tracking it for a breakout right and if you see the price went up and then it came back down so if you see the price came back down it had the first false break over here price just closed below this first level of resistance here right so it's it looks like that price really has fallen below the key level of resistance here and again came back into the channel here right uh, overall channel is going up isn't it so some people who are really thinking about this one as a single line of resistance they may think about going for a short signal or a short trade because the price has now came back down below the key level of resistance here and back into the channel here again but when you draw this as a resistance zone i'll just show you how i have drawn that next level of resistance which is this one why i've drawn that then what we see price really came back down to retest the zone and price has not yet broken the level of support here so the price is really good amount of strength since price has not really given us a false break or any kind of break below the support level here yet so a mistake of drawing the zone can misguide you in your trading so let me show you how i've taken the second level of resistance here the first point comes from here price goes up here then fall from there and then again price goes up and try to break this previous level of resistance here so you can see that price is really reacting to this level of resistance isn't it and it reacted really so again we got two points and then price again comes back over here and then again we can see the price reaction over here so the traders are really reacting to this level so it happened for one time two time and three times but this time it was just a pullback and not an overall sell of pressure right like what happened here and here and price finally was able to move above this level of resistance which was blocking the traders previously and then price again came back down here and here what you see that price had a break went below the level but again the the buyers came back in and the price was able to close above this level of resistance so the level i mean this was a support from here what we need to see is that the in the support the buyers are really responding and that's the reason the push came in back and price was able to sit above the level but but later on you know it didn't sustain and we can see a massive sell off from that level all right especially when this low is broken basically i guess the the selling pressure really started because that's the point where from where the buyers really pushed the market towards upside so anyway so we can see one two three four 
four on the fourth time the buying pressure and then the sellers overtaking the overall breakout here right so you can say it's a fifth time for the sellers so what do you see that on this level price is really responding well and most of the order flows in the market are happening really on this level 10116 so for me 10116 is more important than this level of resistance 10177 because we just have one time momentum from here so since the number of order flows are more in here here and here i mean on 10116 so this level will play a key role in the market and that is the reason if you just go through my uh, analysis in nifty uh, that day i was saying that day i was saying that till the time the price is not falling below 10116 i'm not really going short in this i want to see the price falling below 10116 and i'm not really worried if the price goes back goes down below 10117 because that's not really the more important level for me here you know so the price action order flows you need to see the price action order flows in which level you see the most of the order flows are happening most of the traders are really reacting you know and uh, at the same time you can't even ignore this point because you, you got heavy sell off from that level right so we'll have to count this one as well as we'll have to count this one too and we'll have to create a box as a zone and we'll have to say 10177 to 10116 is a resistance zone is a key level zone so within this zone we'll have to see whatever you are supposed to see based on our strategies and if we are talking about a break then we need to see a break below this level as well as above this level so that's one way to look at it now the second way to look at it is that if you buy something over here like we bought something we bought the nifty around here and i said my target is this level and i'm not really waiting to exit on here i'll be exiting for safe side right on this level even though price was able to touch both the targets over here both the resistances over here but in a lot of situations when you start tracking the market like this you will see a lot of times you mark a resistance right over here because this is more seen in here and sometimes traders miss this price action order flows here and you will see the price goes up and just turns right from this level of resistance so, sorry guys it's diwali time so the i can't handle the crackers outside my place there are like people are busy with the crackers and i'm at the market <laughs> okay anyways so in this scenario you say oh no my target was right on here right before hitting my target area and it almost reached and you know it, it just turned and i lost all the profits what i was making over here so most of the time in my experience things happen because of these issues because we don't create the zones and we just create a single line and very few times you will get a single line like here we have a single line no issues that makes sense you will get it sometimes at the same time you know this line is very much accurate and then you have this area you have this area so so many order flows you have and also it's not a multiple line you, need, you don't need to draw it's over there right over there so you'll get it sometimes but most of the time you won't get it most of the time you'll get a zone and don't forget to create these zones in that case uh, one more chart mm. where i want to discuss the order flows you know in the order flows you'll see here this is a cesc chart so here you'll see this is a top point right this is a pin point you can draw a level of resistance price goes up came back down right okay so that's one way to look at it but if you want to see where the real price action order flows happened then you'll get a then you'll get one more level which is 984 so how we get it look at this price this candle it goes up it stops right over here next day price again stops right over here next day price gives a breakout really above this and doesn't sustain and came back down come back below that level that last two days of sorry that last two days of high here right and then next day again price is stopping on that level and then again next day this day the high is again over there so five days one two three four five for five days price is really reacting to this level of resistance which is around 985 all right and then again see from here price come back down here and again price goes up and while moving up it tries to break out but again it fails to cross that level of resistance here and the next is the same thing happened same thing and here the same thing happened the high and a great sell off if you practice and really focus on the chart then you are able to figure out this level of resistance which is this 984.36 something 
and also you have this one the normal eyes can't find it until the time you are not really serious about the price action you are not communicating with the price actions right so we have this resistance now we have this resistance now so we create a zone here and amazingly you will see what happened later on look at this price moved back up from here and where did it stop right in here so someone who bought in here his target is this one this top right but what happened just now we talked about it isn't it price goes up goes up goes up and doesn't hit your ultimate target and turn down right before hitting your target and you are now frustrated that you have lost all these profits and you are now really thinking the whole day that why did it turn just before hitting the target so later on you can see the level is really the level is really accurate till now this is our zone and the zone is really working here right so again the zone look at the power of the zone price is not really holding below the zone it's holding the level again someone if someone is just drawing this point and ignore for, forget about this you have this one so you already got a break here isn't it it looks like the price is trading below this level of uh, support isn't it which makes the structure weak the world trend weaker but when you have this zone and you see okay the price is not really sustaining below the zone the support zone so the price is holding the support table which is a good sign very good sign so look at this if you just remove this line the way of analysis entirely changes isn't it so this is a very important part of price action so and uh, you know we spend a lot of times in our financial hub india course uh, to understand and to track this kind of uh, support zones and resistance zones and uh, this really helps you to define your stop losses to define your target levels in a better way you know so finally i hope that this concept will help you to trade better and earn better uh, i'll see you guys on the next lesson thank you so much